Welcome back, guys, to episode of South Park, the Stick of Truth. Last night was a night we will never speak of again. It ended with me being squished by my dad's balls. So I never, never, ever, 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 ever want to experience hey, that Jim, again. Since a lot of our best guys were done by your hand, can you help us collect underpants? We just need a few more to hit our quota. Good lord, it was just telling me how to go between gnome size and regular size, I think. Oh wow, gnome dust. Sweet! We can go gnome size and regular size anytime we want, that's kind of cool. New message from Kyle, what do we got going on? What up, Kyle? All warriors is on, Lanyard are called to an emergency summit. Report to Elven Forest immediately. Okay. Go meet with Kyle. Hey, there's an emergency Oop. meeting at the Elven Forest. Thank you. Let's head to the fast travels point and head over there. Can we go straight there? What is this? That's not where we want to be. Where do we want to be going? That's the school. Kyle's house. Which one's Kyle's house? I completely forget. Is this? No, that's my house. No, that's not my house. That's Cartman's house. Where's Kyle's house? Oh, Kyle's house all the way down here. Okay. Let's just fast travel to Cartman's house. Then we'll go out through the backyard, into the house, out through the street. And then we'll make it to Kyle's house. Or should we buy some stuff from the armory? We haven't checked that out in a while. Why not check that out real quick? Guess I'm minding this up now. You need any weapons or armor? <laughs> Here's what we're selling today. Um... Level 10 Fire Sword. A nice Badass. Yes, please. Scott Malkinson. New friend. I'll take it. As long as I get my mother truck a fire sword. This is gonna be crazy. Look at this. Inventory. Weapons. Level 10 Fire Sword. Oh my god. And we have our elven gloves. Hold on. We got some new gloves, or gnome gloves, plus 20% damage with two-handed weapons. This is a two-handed weapon, ladies and gentlemen. We just made out, baby. I'm ready. Headed to Kyle's. What are you doing back there? Is this Kyle's house? the light green one. Shoot, did we pass already? I'm confused. No, we're right there. Okay, we hadn't gotten into it yet. It was the next one over. Sorry. Next one over. Here it is. Have we looted him yet? I think we have. Ah, Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves are still in my pajamas. A great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least fifty warriors to be on his team, and he is. <laughs> you have something to say, Wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> Guys, serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that! We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods? You think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you t t suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! <laughs> Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. 
So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? <laughs> How, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! All right, so I am tasked with recruiting the girls. Let's see what we can do, baby. I just want to use my new sword. To be honest. All right, we're going to go talk with Annie. Where's Annie at? Annie McFanny. Was she the one outside? Where was she? Was she outside the school? Talk to Annie at City Hall about recruiting the girls. Okay, that's what we want to do. We want to go to City Hall. It's a really far way away, but let's start trekking it. Could probably go back there and keep keeping fast travel, but we'll be all right. Let's use this one, I guess. Alrighty, we want to go to City Hall. Not many good fast travel points. I guess we'll use this one. We'll go left, up, and then right. Let's go recruit these girls, baby. Can infect our competitors with. Cooties. <laughs> no big deal, hey, officer. I'm, I'm just like a. Forest. Sure, it's got treasure, but they say there's no way out. What am I like a second or third grader get running back, around with a fire back. sword? Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore. <laughs> not. Oh, did Baby lose her toy? Who is this? Kid, if you know it's good for you. Time to kick ass and take names. Let's go, baby. Let's go, dude. I'm gonna use my new fire sword. Oh my god! And it makes them burn. What does marked for death do? Go, boy! Weird. Okay. Um. Let's use this. Way of the sword. Wow, this looks crazy. Jesus, that was so powerful. Yep, go sit down, bitch. Oh my god, dude. That is insane. And look at the amount of damage that we do compared to Kyle. Oh, ponage. You like Holy you crap. Girls? Oh, I hope he didn't break it. Oh, phew. He thinks I owe you one, kid. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Yeah, let's do it. Oh god, she's blindfolding us? What the heck? Where are you taking me, girl? You crazy. What in the, the world? The and twelfth meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, it's zero! Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle! Nelly Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, that, that, way, way. that way! Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle! Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. Yeah. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. <laughs> That's hot. 
players are playing some new role-playing game and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood. And you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be. And see if Monica tries to hit on you at all. Because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! I'm lost. Were you guys watching the, uh, if you weren't seeing it, go back, rewind it, and look at all, like, the lists on the wall. Like, the top ten hottest actors, the girls we hate most, the... You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. All kinds of funny stuff. Okay, cool. So we're going to the park. Wow, there's a Nazi zombie in the background back there. Interesting. I think the park's over here to the right. Yep. I'm going to go over here and pose. Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. I'm going to take this guy out real quick. And then we'll head to the park. We know oh, we're going to win. Can we skip this? Nice. Let's use his other abilities. Whirlwind Slash. Now let's use uh, Way of the Sword on this guy. This thing is nuts. Look at this. 1144 HP zombie. Oh, I didn't do much because he had his freaking armor on. No dang way, it. dude. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> He's dead. And... Yeah. Oh, wow. One left, up. really? Yeah, you didn't shit up. Nice. Nice job. Level 11. Okay, let's head to the park. Enough messing around. The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. We fast travel to the park, let's see. Uh, pretty darn close, nice. I will take it. Oh my god, so many zombies. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and walk on by him, no big deal. Just cops with their eyeballs hanging out of their heads. I'm not worried about it. Ooh, what's up, girl? Which one are we supposed to talk to? If shit goes down, I'll come running. Oh, hi. This one, I you guess. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? <laughs> Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. All right, bring it on, mother chucker. You in your soccer pansy uniform. We got this. Who is this guy? I don't know. Monica's boyfriend, 2,397 health. <laughs> That's nothing. Oh. Use his ability, Tape, when you see the uh, little 
star thing pop up, we should be able to take him out. Oh, look at that! Didn't even get a shot off. Sorry about your luck, buddy. Okay. New message from Monica. Let's check it out. Hey, I'm sorry that Jake flipped out like that, but I'd still love to be friends. Nice. <laughs> Douchebag, make sure you hose off any kudos before you turn to Koopa Keep. Um, <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> I'm writing an epic matter girl about your cowardly death in this battle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's head to our map. And, um... Or I guess let's just look at quests. Um, return to any city on tower. What happened with Monica? Okay, guess we could do that. <laughs>